and last left, the Lone Wanderer. Their adventures with forming the Wasteland Survival Guide continued. This time, they needed to seek out many of Olrat and beat them to death with sticks. Along their route to find Molrats, did they find the Hubris Comics Publishing Building, where they took on an incredible adventure in the form of text. Now it was time to continue exploring the ghoul-filled building and hopefully find Molrats. This is Fallout 3! Welcome back. Shoop, shoop. There we are. Let us get to it, huh? Let's flick that on. Oh, you know what? What's what's our encumbrance? Should I be taking more of these mugs? I guess so. Okay. Load that up. Good. Oh, there are some items in these. Whoa, ammunition. A paperweight. Pre-war money. The paperweight is like a big rectangular one, right? Not just like a little glass semicircle, which is what I'm more accustomed to. Okay. I don't, you never see paperweights anymore, right? I, I never see them anywhere anymore. I feel like I used to see a lot of paperweights everywhere. I guess we're using less paper. Probably a good thing, huh? Okay, over here. Bottle caps. More caps, more ammo. Oh god! The bouquet! Ah! Oh, oh fuck! Jesus Christ, I forgot about it. Oh my god. Oh, and we've- Oh, great! Okay. Look at it screaming up there. Oh, God! Fuck off, dog! Shoot you in the head. Oh, God. <gasps> Light up another one! Woo! I was just slamming my left mouse button <laughs> to immediately try and do a follow-up shot. <sighs> well. No problem. <laughs> okay. First aid. Take all that. Missiles. Five millimeter, ten millimeter, an easy pick. Good. More blood packs. Oh, we got a level two. Well, let's claim it. All right, what should we get here? Should we go for more lock pick? I kind of think we should. Right, if we go to, if we go to 85 lockpick, theoretically, when we find the lockpicking whatever, the bobblehead, that should get us another 15, which would cap us out at a hundo, right? But on the flip side of that, who the hell knows when I'm going to find that thing? Should I try and be efficient about it? Because if I really wanted to be efficient, I, would, I wouldn't I would even put points into it, right? Because there's a good chance that we'll find um, another locksmith's... I don't know, what what's it called? Publication, the little book. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe we'll elite... We'll do science. We'll take science to 85, fuck it. And then I'll put the extra into lockpick. Because we may be able to get, with Mentats and a science outfit, we may be able to get 100 science. Okay. It's maybe not our best expenditure of it. But we have to be a little realistic with... Because I don't know where every single bobblehead is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't have that memorized off the top of my head. Uh, but... Because of that, we don't know when we're going to find these bobbleheads in and of themselves. In fact, have we already found the science one? No, I'm thinking of the medicine one, aren't I? Well, no, I couldn't be, because medicine is 20. Was it science that we had already found? Yeah, maybe. All right, I'll take that. 
Let's see, and then over here, night person, mysterious stranger, always fun, but we're not a VATS build. I think this, does this work with every single shot you fire? Like every time you deplete your, your AP, which is used in VATS once, you know, like if we open up VATS with our rocket launcher, We've got, if we're at full AP, we can fire off two bits of junk, right? Does it roll to get the Mysterious Stranger for each shot fired, or does it roll per time that you fire from VATS? I think it's per shot, isn't it? I think so. But it may also be capped where the Mysterious Stranger, it rolls per shot, but the Mysterious Stranger can only appear once per volley of vats. Regardless, I don't think it's that good for our build. You know? We're not going an AP vats build. Here and now, probably one of the worst, you know, the most infamous fake-out perks in the game. It's really only good if you're under the impression that there is no level cap in Fallout 3. But otherwise, this, um, you know... You get another level, thus you're pretty much giving up a perk. It's no good. Finesse is generally just good for everybody, but of course it really shines if you're a crit luck build. Probably gonna go for Size Matters again. Let's be real. That's probably the play. It's really good. Yeah. Let's do it. Good. So what does that bring our big guns up to? 58. A respectable 58. Okay, we are a little bit dinged up, but you know what? That's fine. I think there was a bed somewhere. The go going behind the shelf really did not help a lot at all. <laughs> right? It seemed like that might help in some way, and it really just didn't do shit for me. Let's get this reloaded here. Cool. Yeah, wasn't there a bed... ...like up here or something? Or am I thinking of the previous room? Oh hey, this desk is lootable. Whoa! How come we never search these? Okay, I guess we got a little carried away. A lot of good ammunition in there. Oh, uh, maybe we only searched one half? Well, look at that, there's a cola. I guess we just never did it. Unless it respawned between me reloading the game, because I did re- oh, fuck. Gosh, <laughs> just hearing the tripwire- WHAT THE HELL?! Oh my god, I could have fucking died. <laughs> I was about to say, just hearing the tripwire break is enough to, like, I don't know, make me clench up my butthole a little bit. <laughs> right, it gives me that sickly, horrifying feeling. And, uh, true enough, you know what? The instincts were, were right on the money. There was another bouquet somewhere there. I thought there was only the one. Okay. Anything else? Makes a lot more sense that there were two. Don't know that there's any booby traps in the game that have more than one tripwire associated with them. Okay. So over here. With our debilitation. Our slower move speed. Oh god. One of these babies is gonna blow up or something. But we sound like a Morrowind protagonist walking around, <laughs> right? We sound like the Nervarine walking. Just add in a little bit of a fortify speed effect. Go a little bit quicker. Okay. Big old pile of bods. Sure. Down and around there. Yeah, was there not a bed? Oh, fuck, dude. There's another one? 
Maybe I'm just thinking of the... Not bed, but... Uh... Oh, nice. Oh god, cancel, cancel, belay that order! Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> the water fountain. Okay, there you are. Hey there. Let's go for your leg. Nice! Oh my gosh, you're falling through the little hole there. Holy hell, you fell right through. I didn't know such a thing was possible. Look! <laughs> it like melded right through the crack. God, that's incredible. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of this water fountain. Oh shit, my rads went up. What a fool I am. There we are. Oh, one more slurp. Oh, don't I have that, um that perk now that makes it to where my limbs regen? Or do I need higher radiation? <laughs> Hang on, what am I? Oh, I'm very evil. I'm very evil now. Thanks to what we did to Megaton. Let's see. Perks. Yeah, rad regen. Advanced radiation poisoning. Okay. Sure. In this area... Here, let's do a jump. Can I make that jump with my leg? Okay, yeah. Fire hose nozzle. Activate that, disarm it. Oh, you get some XP for disarming these. Now the unfortunate thing is now we can't get the baseballs from within. Can we? Yeah. What a shame. Oh well, there's enough coffee mugs to suffice. Okay. Well, I don't think we've been in this area. What is this? What kind of room is this? Oh, it's like a cleared out cubicle area almost. Right, these would be little alcoves for... Offices, I guess, or maybe a waiting area? I don't know. The shelves really throw me off. Okay. Oh, vacuum cleaner. Useful. Filing cabinet here, 10 millimeter. This garbage was searchable, but no longer. Lunchbox there? Sure. Steam gauge assembly. Man, they really are showing up everywhere. You're a crippled. Use a stim pack, sleep, or find a doctor. It's kind of amazing that sleeping does fix that. I don't even think it worked that way in the first game. Unless you had medicine skill. You know? Or it was doctor skill, wasn't it? Not just medicine, but doctor or something? Oh, they, yeah, there was a separation between doctor and first aid, and Fallout has, like, Fallout 3 has combined them into one, that being medicine. Okay, go to printing? I think we'd been- oh, no we hadn't. Who are these fucking people? There's a whole bunch of ghouls over here. Well, we should probably take care of the doohickeys up there. God, man! There's a fucking guy in there with a gun! What in the hell is that? Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, I'm getting my fucking back filled with lead. Oh! Jesus, man. Whew. What the fuck? The turret's still up? 
No, but this mad Johnny West. Who is this guy? I don't, have I not ever come into this building before? Fuck off, Mad Johnny. Let's see, do I have any anything that's more accurate at range? God, I could shoot a rocket in there. That'd probably work pretty well. I could snipe them. Yeah, I'll use the 44. I don't think they're coming out of there. Is that a hit? Oh! oh. Nice! Fuck off, Mad Johnny. I see you. Oh, God. Got the clock. Oh, shit. Alright. Fuck, check it out. There's a landmine to my left as well. Oh, oh. Ooh, fuck. Good thing your oh. damage fall off is worse than mine. Can I blow oh. that up? That didn't do shit. Oh. Okay, we better play it a little safe here. I'll chow down some food. How about a Brahmin steak? Apples, dog meat, squirrel bits, snack cakes, human flesh, iguana bites, noodles, crisps, beans, roach meat, Salisbury. Okay, that'll be good for now. Because we may find a, another water fountain or whatever. This isn't like a play on Wes Johnson, is it? Johnny Wes? And Mad? Because he played Shea or Gorath in their last game? That's, that ain't what that's supposed to be, huh? Did I just, did I just shoot Wes Johnson? Beloved BGS icon of voice acting fame? Okay. Deal with that. Good. You know what? I actually I'm I'm like convinced now. Mad Johnny Wes? That's totally him. Okay. I really don't remember any of this. I'm convinced I never came in here now. Or I've just completely wiped it from my mind. Or someone else did. Are there many more landmines out here? God, there are. Anything over in this corner? Nope. Okay. There may be a bed back there. I could see that being the case. Got some steps. Okay. Take care of these. Just a little computer unit out here. Is this like turret control? Activate printing press terminal. Huh. Hubris Comics Publishing Printing Press Terminal. Remember to make sure no one is near the press while operating. Turn on printing press. Check manuscript. Check ink levels. Check paper stock. Check manuscript. Grognak the Barbarian. Number 361. Loaded. Ink levels. Red ink low. Paper stock. Low grade pulp available. Turn it on. Warning! Machine malfunctioning. God, is it gonna blow up? Oh, God. Smoking. Yeah, 
Is it just gonna be smoking or is it gonna blow up? Dude, I don't I don't fucking know. We're in Fallout. Is this like a nuclear powered printing press? Is <laughs> are we like priming ourselves up for a massive fucking mushroom cloud in here or what? <laughs> okay. Check this little cool area out. Can jump right in there. Or maybe it printed out one of the comic books. We got one for free. And this is its way of saying like, yeah, you only get one. Activate. This printing press is activated elsewhere. <sighs> Shit, I'm not going there until like Elder Scrolls 9. Okay. Let's <laughs> You like that? That's pretty good, huh? Sure. Anything else? Oh. Somebody's bod is here. Just the upper part. Ruined books. Oh yeah, look. This person isn't getting printed. Okay. Sure. Well, what's in this desk? Ammunition, dart, clipboard, which darts are technically a type of ammunition, right? Clipboard and cola, take them both. I'll leave the paperweight. We're over 250 for encumbrance. Okay. I guess they're just smoking up a storm now. I thought for sure one would pop out. But maybe not. All right, this seems like where it would come out, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. So if we got into here, how would we get out, I wonder? Can very easily see how to get in. Okay. Is there any way into that upper level from down here? No. Well, except for perhaps this. Oh, fuck! Look at all the baseballs. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Did they get killed by that? No shot. Yeah, they're they're right over here. Oh god. There you are. Cool. Man, we're fucking killing dudes with this shit now that we're getting skill points. Okay. Two caps on you. Stim pack there. Let's go get some of these baseballs. They're heavy as hell, but it's pretty handy ammo. What's this weird little closet for? Is there nothing in this? No. Maybe that's where the ghouls were. Maybe it was a spawn closet, huh? Spawn closet being a, uh... <laughs> I, I don't even know if we use terms like that anymore, right? I don't even know. But, uh... In video games, there would be... You know... A... Room or whatever. Very often in shooters. First person or third person shooters. There'd be little doors or darkened areas, and that would be where your enemies spawned out of, right? And once you got up to the point where you killed them all or whatever, for some reason you got over there, they would spawn, they would spawn in like a handful of them, and they would stop by the time you got over. Spawn closet. I think maybe the most... Maybe the game that, that widely used it the most was like 
left for dead, now that I think of it. Especially given it's multiplayer, where players had to be very aware of spawn closets like that. Pre-war book. First aid box. Got some goodies. An easy lock here. Give it a pick. Man, six stim packs. Whole lot of fission batteries. Man, steam gauge assemblies are everywhere, apparently. Publishing terminal. Okay. Air conditioning controls. Hubris Comics Publishing. Publishing quality prints at quality prices. Let's see the AC controls. System inoperative. Unlock foreman door. Release schedule. Hubris Comics Summer 2077 Schedule. A glorious summer for hubris and America. June, Captain Cosmos. Truth, Justice, and the Space American Way. Kid Wacky's Zany Hijinks. Grognak the Barbarian. Revenge of the Mansaurian. Tales from the Front. Alaska Unbowed. July, Grognak Salute to the Troops. God. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Tales from the Front. Liberated Canada. Captain Cosmos. Invasion of the Black Planet. Drake Tungsten. Chrono Cowboy. August. Tales from the Front. The Red Terror. Underground Life. Vault Boy Special. Wow, they even got the, the Vault Tech tie-in as well. Not just like military propaganda, but also Vault Tech propaganda. Vault or Grognak the Barbarian, an axe for all ages. Captain Cosmos, the radioactive spaceman from space. Okay. Yeah, very true to real life, you know, with especially we there was a lot of that in the 1980s, which was before my time, but it, it's so um, prominent that a lot of folks just know of it, you know, stuff with um, early versions of like. G.I. Joe or Transformers and all of that. A lot of that was propaganda uh, as well as just ways in which to, so to sell toys, you know? Okay. Let's see. It, w it wasn't like the cartoon was made for the purpose of making an enjoyable cartoon for a, a child to watch or like they're a child and their accompanying family to watch. It was more so, oh, we're making this to watch, but also... It's a gigantic advertisement. <laughs> and this one is a gigantic advertisement for the toys and the United States military. <laughs> Letters to the editor. Requiem for the antagonist. Grognak the Barbarian is an excellent comic for many reasons, but one of the most widely respected ones is the depth of its villains. From the cold-blooded manipulation of the Mansaurian to the love-hate romance with Femra, the stories of Grognak's enemies are every bit as fascinating as his own tales. But for my money, no tale is more tragic and more fascinating than that of the Ant Agonizer. While never developed as fully as major villains like Skullpocalypse or Mastodonald, the portrait of the orphaned girl raised by ants and instilled with a bitter hatred of humanity has tremendous potential for reader connection and possible redemption. However, in Grognak and the Ants of Agony, Mr. Neptura threw away all of that potential by simply treating the ant agonizer as a two-dimensional villain with a futile and pointless grudge against mankind. His writing replaced her subtle undertones of lost humanity and tragically lost innocence with the worst sort of mustache-twirling, cliché dialogue. It was an offense to a deep and tragic character, <laughs> right? No, normally, it goes the other way around, right? It starts out as mustache-twirling, and then people are like, What are you doing writing, uh, writing in all my politics into my game? Or my, my grognak? <laughs> What are you doing, Ryan? My post-apocalyptic America video game sent Washington, D.C. Why is it so political? Why'd you get so political all of a sudden? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid? Why is it so political? What, what are you doing with my Metal Gear comics? <laughs> Stop 
stop, stop putting your contemporary politics in there. It was never like that in the old days. <laughs> How a hack like that continues to find work in, hu in comics is beyond my comprehension. Huber's comics should fire him and return the series to the capable hands of Mr. Morales. Until that time, I refuse to buy another comic from what used to be my favorite publisher. Obsessed in Oakmont. Okay. Press release? For immediate release, Hubris Comics and vault Incorporated unveil Vault Boy meets Hell's Chain Gang limited five-part miniseries. The very best in invincible entertainment and impenetrable vaults team up to bring comic fans a gripping grimoire of greatness. From their headquarters in Washington, D.C., Hubris Comics announced today plans to bring a beloved American icon into the Hubris Comics universe. None other than the beloved Vault Boy character. Vault Boy was the perfect choice for our new Hell's Chain Gang series, says Hubris Comics Chief of Publishing Peter Shiner in which those valiant vigilantes take on Chairman Chang's commie cyborg corpse, or core after all, Vault Boy knows a thing or two about going up against that red menace. The five-part miniseries will feature an alternate future in which Chinese communists have invaded America. Vault Boy and Hell's Chain Gang. Oh, Chain Gang. Chang. <laughs> <laughs> are the last best hope for America to break free from the shackles of communism in this cautionary tale of vigilance. It has always been vault mission to educate and protect our countrymen from the communist threat, commented vault public relations executive Joanne Strausser. This exciting project is a perfect opportunity to thrill young Americans while sending home an important message for us all. Every good American must help shoulder the burden of freedom and always be wary of the communist threat. The first issue of this miniseries will be available on newsstands everywhere this holiday season. About Hubris Comics, Hubris Comics, a branch of Hubris Publishing, headquartered in Washington, D.C., has been producing printed entertainment since 2021. Hubris Comics are known for such popular properties as Grognak the Barbarian, Hell's Chain Gang, and The Inspector. Who is The Inspector? Okay. Yeah. I, I guess um, Fallout 4 enjoyers will be maybe shocked and dismayed, honestly, flabbergasted, if you will at the lack of inclusion and prominence of the Silver Shroud, who, uh, you know, nobody really gave a shit about until Fallout 4, <laughs> right? The Silver Shroud, no, nobody really... I don't even know if there were any mentions of the Silver Shroud, come to think of it, pre-Fallout 4. I would have to imagine they show up somewhere, right? But, uh, I don't... I didn't... They weren't ever on my radar, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Oh, a locked door. Average lock. Oh, shit. Good. Let's pop a quick save. My god, look at all this. What a mess. Mad Johnny Wes. If this ain't Wes Johnson, I don't know who the hell it's meant to be. I see he got 10 scotch. You know. Uh, beloved voice actor, Wes Johnson. Very, also, unfortunately, very well known for being, uh, a terrifying, horrible alcoholic and, uh, hard drug user <laughs> as well. And lover of pork and beans. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, the minigun still has some juice in it. I was worried that we had completely blasted it. Okay. 
Let me chow down on some of this, I guess. There we are. Got our encumbrance down a bit. More ammunition. Guess we can stow that. All right. Good. Okay. Oh, there's a copy of Grognak right there. Let's give that a quick read. And enjoy some cram while we're at it. There's a turret control. Bunch of chems in there. Sure. First aid all around. One of them's locked. Oh, hell. <laughs> okay. Great. Is this maybe it involved in the... The mechanist little quest? Is that what this all is for? I don't remember if I ever solved it the appropriate way, that quest. <laughs> I may have uh, only ever solved it through more violent means. Let's pick into here, or science in here, I should say. Alright, what's well, a good one? Engineer? No, that's a bad one. Defeated might be good. Definitely one ending in ED. How about invented? Oh, that's pretty close. Okay, there's only two that are off. Huh. Well, it's not defeated then. How about infested? That's a two-point or a two-letter difference. Nailed it! Okay. Activated, sure. Actually deactivated, I lied. Let's head on out of here. Yeah. I, I've had some folks write in, in on the older videos now uh, remarking on why I don't ever especially since I, I even brought light to it why I don't always just go through and use the little dud removal thing all the time I never know if it's actually quicker or not to just reset and try it again you know like in real life I feel like Sometimes my ability to, to like, search through all of the characters for the brackets and whatnot ends up taking just as much time as it would have taken me to do a second or even third attempt at the same word, depending on the complexity of the, the word puzzle. So, I, I don't know. I always feel like it's a, it's a toss-up. But I guess, like I said, it depends on the complexity of the word puzzle. Sometimes you'll get one where... You very, very much nailed it down. Or narrowed it down. Okay. I think we've searched everything here. Good. And how about this area? Yeah, we still have a bit more. I'm still dinged up, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. That's fine, though. Let's continue over this way. We got the pitching machines all deactivated. Sure. I do want to check out that other room on our local map that is somewhat still covered in fog of war. Okay. Then over here, I think. Or did we even look in beta testing? Yeah, we did, didn't we? That was where we found the reign of Grelok. Oh yeah, it's this area with the babies. What is that there? Look, there's a big old boop. Whoa. Okay. That one's a bomb. There's its terrifying visage. I don't think this one is a bomb, though. Okay. Hey! A vacuum cleaner! Can I deactivate it? No. 
All right. Let's see. Do I have the means to take this? I don't know. How much crap have I got? I guess I'll drink some of this booze. Drink away our encumbrance a bit. And... Could drop some of our trash items that we've been using for ammunition. Get rid of a conductor. There we are. Significantly more common to find a conductor than a vacuum cleaner, I think. Okay. Man. Speaking of reagents that you find, more steam gauge assemblies. I really don't remember them being this common. Oh, this doesn't even go outside. Oh, shit. It's like the main lobby. Oh, check it out. That computer has some sort of explosive device on it. All right. Over here. Dart. Lovely. Lawnmower. What's that doing in here? Fire hose nozzle again? My god. Do another quick save. Hubris Comics. Okay. Activate rear panel. Ooh, I don't have the means to disarm it. Tales of a junk town jerky vendor. Some caps. Let's see, what is my explosives at? I think it's... Isn't explosives running off of... Well, no. We're completely fucked. Okay. Doesn't it run off of, like, perception, though? And this desk. Got some 32 in there. I mean, if I just check the terminal, are we fine? Or will it start to erupt? Okay, it starts to erupt. Whew! Empty garbage. Let's have a look here at the receptionist terminal. Okay, release schedule. Oh, beta testing notice. That's new. Miss Grainer! Beginning Monday, members of the Grognax Lil Heathens fan club will begin visiting the offices to participate in beta testing our Reign of Grelok software. Participants must fill out our participation agreement and should be directed to the testing station 15 minutes prior to their scheduled appointment time. Just follow the main hallway all the way to the end and go through the door on your right. From there, the beta testing area is just down the smaller hallway to your right. Rebecca, a personal note, some members of the fan club may be a little exuberant. We realize that you are not a babysitter and appreciate the extra trouble you'll be going to this week. This beta test is very important to getting our hubris software venture off to a good start. So please, do your best to keep things under control out front. You will be compensated time and a half for the week as a token of our gratitude for your trouble. Press release. Is this the same as before? Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. And this goes out front. Yeah. Mason District is what it's called. Ah, here we go. Restroom. Oh god, it's only a toilet. Oh, look. What the hell is this? Whoa! There's a whole bunch of explosives inside the fucking toilet. Your repair skill allows you to grab the microfusion cells without getting shot. Okay, I do that. What the hell? I've never seen that before. Have I? Microfusion cell trap. 
I think I remember them existing as like a throne weapon in New Vegas. But never something that you could just set up. Or that you had to disarm. Okay, let's check the lower level here. Does this connect to the other area? Utility tunnels. Let's see, are these the same ones that we were in before? Yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. Really threw me right into the wall there. Okay. You know what? Here, I'm gonna burn a stim pack on this. Fuck it. Two of them, in fact. Alrighty. So, how about in the... the Grelock room? Did we fully check everything down there? We did, didn't we? I think. Let me do a quick other little once over there. And make sure before we head out. Let's see. Down here. See, I don't know. Did we ever come down this way? I don't think we did. I don't know if we looked at anything on this lower level. I don't remember going through all these shelves, but maybe I was distracted by fighting all the ghouls. Okay. Red Pass card. And 44 rounds. Yeah, see, I don't think we had been down here. Finance clipboard. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay. Bunch of plungers. Toolbox. Sensor module. Wonder glue. Hammer. Abraxo. Okay. Anything hidden behind the door? I don't know if there ever is anything hidden behind those doors. Oh, look. Fountain here. Sure. Anything in here? Nope. Garbage can filled with a dart, which I'll take. This restroom? Anything here? Nope. Okay. Let's chow down on some irradiated water. Good. Okay. So I think we've done a full sweep of this section, huh? Let's head on up here. We still haven't gone to the Grelock area, however. That's across the way, I think. Okay. We'll have a quick peek over there. If I even remember how to get there. Was it through this one? Yeah, because weren't they on the right? Beta testing? Yeah. This was it. And did we look everywhere on the bottom floor here? Is what I'm wondering. Okay, yeah, it's just this one room. I thought maybe it linked up somewhere else. Alright, fair enough. Let's try and get out of here, out through the front door, I think, rather than the maintenance tunnels. Okay. Good. And over here, by all the baseball launchers. Which, you know, the baseball launchers, cool, funny, you know? Why, why wouldn't the, uh, the folks who run Hubris Comics, why wouldn't they have such a fun office as to, you know, they would set up a whole bunch of baseball launcher pitchers as defense against whatever. Or, or even better, whoever was here before, they would have set it up. But maybe the real question is, why did they have them to begin with? Right? What were... <laughs> What was Hubris Comics doing with that many baseball pitchers? Like, one is maybe I could think, like, okay, maybe the higher-ranking member was in here. I don't, I don't know. Practicing their batting swing or something? Right? You know, like the little golf ball, the little golfing machines or whatever that you, you putt around in your office? I don't, I don't know what those are called, but you always see them in, in movies and stuff whenever there's, like, some CEO character who's just like, they just got too much money. Right? 
You just, you can't fucking stop golfing. You gotta golf in your fucking office. You gotta have the little thing set up there too, right? But, um, it's always in like so many TV shows and movies that, that they show that off in cartoons. But, uh, does such a thing also exist for baseball? <laughs> you just set up a fucking pitcher in your office and you're just fucking swinging around, knocking baseballs all over the fucking place. Wiping out, like, pictures framed on the wall. Knocking over, like, bookshelves. All sorts of shit. You just start swinging the bat. Fucking Janice from accounting comes in. You just start swinging at her, too. Turns out, uh-oh, you're a murderer. <laughs> you kill people. <laughs> you're- you're deranged. You- you just- you're bad. You- you're here to murder people with a baseball bat. Okay. Let's go on over and out. We'll pop a quick save in case we immediately leave and are attacked by something. Ah, we're fine. Oh, shit. No, we're not! Oh. Ah! Oh. Good God! Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> well, good thing we quick saved. Jesus. Look. So often... What? Why did they sound like that? But so often, I'll say she'll like... Yeah, let's do it just in case we immediately get attacked when we come out here. And what do you know fucking happened? It actually happened for fucking once, didn't it? It actually fuck. Oh, God, I got addicted to Medex. You've become addicted to a drug. Take more of the drug to alleviate the side effects, or visit a doctor to be cured. You know what? We need something heavier duty for this. This is going to be quite the little encounter. I get him? Uh, oh, 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 Jesus, man. Uh, 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 Good. Okay, I think they're far enough away we can use the rocket launcher now. Okay, should be able to get you right in the head. Nice. Good. Look, <laughs> they're twins again. Let's go for the leg. Seems more reliable. Wonderful. Okay. Ah, <sighs> yeah, bounty notice for me. Sure. Combat shotgun, well fuck. We don't have Jericho with us. Anything else here good? Chinese assault rifle, we can use that for repairs. There we are, yep, 12% repair. And let's check this body over here. Regular assault rifle. Okay. Let's see, do I have any means to lower my encumbrance again? I guess I could suck up some dirty water. I could do that. Let's see, where have we popped out at? Where am I? God, this ain't where I was, where I thought I was. Holy shit. Fuck, there's super mutants right in there. Did I aggro them? <laughs> oh dear lord, I think I nearly did. Okay. Oh, there's actually an assault rifle in our inventory. We can use that. Okay, we're back in hidden mode. I'll take that, and we can repair up. Cool. Okay, so we need to fucking get out of here. We're way off of where we need to be. Alright, so then... Let us go over to... Let's go to Tenpenny Tower real quick and sell off some of this shit. Oh fuck, there are too many enemies nearby. Alright. Good. Here, if I just take the combat shotgun and then drop it, will it stay in the world if we ever come back here? I think it will. 
Assuming I can even see it. Here, maybe I'll move it up here. There we go. <laughs> Looks like it's a booby trap. Okay. Now let's try and fast travel. Ten Penny Tower. Oh, shit. Okay, well, if we enter and then exit again. Now are we good? Yes, man. Oh, God, my eyeballs. Okay. Hey. Knock, knock. Give me a second. Keep your... Okay, okay. There we are. And let's sell a bit to... I guess Gustavo here. Right? They do trading. Must admit, you did good, soldier. Okay. Let's see what you got. I guess... Let me get rid of the regular assault rifle, this, the explosives. Good. And then let's buy up some ammo, I think. Or something else. Gosh, should we buy something else? Hmm. You do have a missile launcher. Should I buy a missile launcher and repair mine up? Or do you have missiles as well? You have one. Maybe I'll buy the missile launcher. Or I could... Didn't you have a minigun as well? Yeah. Eh, I'll buy it. Okay, and let's sell off... These darts. And here we've got some smokes to get rid of. As well as, yeah, these packs. Look at that. It worked out. Pre-war money, too? Cool. Okay. That's probably fine. Thank A you. pleasure doing business with you. I have to go. Watch yourself. Oh, shit. I'm encumbered. Need to repair real fast. There we are. And this as well. Cool. Okay, let's check in at Linda or Lydia. Ch yeah, Lydia. Those ghouls won't be. Yeah, they won't. Okay, I want to buy some things. Of course. Oh, uh, no, oh no! Wait, I don't want to know. I, I actually just want to buy them. Let me take a look. Sure. Okay. And let's see here under miscellaneous, isn't it? Yeah, there we are. Uh, which one should I get? I guess the Nuka-Cola machine. That's going to be the most immediately useful. Okay. And should I sell something off? I could sell off the sawed-off. We're probably at a point where we don't need to use it anymore. Right, instead of the sawed-off, we're kind of making use of the rocket launcher in that way. Yeah, that'll do. I may even want to sell off the hunting rifle. It is kind of heavy. Do I have anything that long range, though? Yeah, I got the 44 and the sniper rifle. Yeah, I'm selling the hunting rifle. See ya. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. It's been a pleasure doing business. I have to go. Now, before we forget, let's head up here to our suite and make use of our cola machine. Okay, over here. Good. Oh, hello. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Oh, I don't know. Can you give me a drink? I'm sorry, sir. God, you never can. Can you... What, what does the Nuka-Cola machine dispense? The Nuka-Cola machine will dispense ice-cold Nuka-Cola. But we have to Once fill it. Once you've dispensed eight of them, the machine will have to be restocked in order to make regular Nuka-Colas ice-cold. Right. Okay, but they stay ice-cold permanently. Tell me a joke. I once visited a crematorium that gave discounts for burn victims. Good lord. Okay, well I have to go now. Of course, of course. There we are, and over here, can I make another rocket launcher? No, I need two leaf blowers. Or just more leaf blowers. 
Did I throw any in here? I did. Okay, so let's make those. Great. And we'll stash the rest of our crafting reagents in there. Okay. Oh, do I even have any more? Yeah, fire hose nozzle. And are we good now? I think we might be. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then let's check here. Get some ice cold Nuka Cola. I will take all of them. And then, what would you like to do with your Nuka Cola machine? Get some ice cold Nuka Cola, add all Nuka Colas you're carrying, and make them ice cold. Let's make them ice cold. And doesn't it take time, or does it do it instantly? Oh, it does it instantly! God, I thought it took like a day or whatever. I guess that, that makes sense, because, you know, in this game you could just wait. Or even rest, which we should do. Okay. Good. And... Let's repair up our rocket launcher. There we are. Looking good. Oh, whoops. Wrong door. Yes. I don't know if I'm ever going to remember to use this door. Oh, yeah, I should so. use our infirmary or lab or whatever. Cool, I got a stim pack. Detoxify. Awesome. So did it... Did it take? Is that the correct one that I used? I'm no longer addicted? Yeah. Okay. Let's make a new one. Fucking hey, this guy, he never fucking quits. Alright, let's bring up the world map. I would really like to get to... the sewers, but we may have to just, like, run across... or swim across the river here. I mean, we could cross that, couldn't we? Why not? Why do I remember a place that had, like, a laser pistol warning about the fumes or whatever? Where is that at? I remember going... I, I had to go through, like, a maintenance tunnel to get to the other side of the river for some reason. But that definitely doesn't seem like you need to do it, <laughs> right? It really doesn't seem like you need to do that to cross the Potomac. Alright, well, I think we'll call it for now. Uh, holy hell, the, our adventures at Hubris Comics took quite a, a long time, a lot longer than I was expecting and anticipating. But uh, on the bright side, when next we return, which I assume will have to be for the Mechanist and Antagonizer quest, uh, we'll go back there and a lot of it will be cleared out and we'll be ready to go. I'm assuming that's like what the printing press was used for. That said, maybe we completely fucked it up, right? What if, what if that's why I don't ever remember going in there because... I, I always solved it the wrong way around, right? The the printing press is now, like, on fire. Or smoking, at least. <laughs> Maybe every time I've played Fallout 3, I've always fucked it up. It's completely possible. All right, when next we return, we're going over there. We're going to find some mole rats, and then once we're done with that, we'll finally get Jericho back with us. Until next time, please take care of each other.